say time to be camera shy. My one homie got a gun in the cupboard. My other homie got a bun in the oven. Whoa. Baby mama getting big in the stomach. Hey. Oh. Guys, 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 guys in. This is Trending SA on SABC3 and on TrendingSA.tv. Shall we check out a Facebook post? If we must. I think we must. Let's have a look. This is Majestic the Rapper. Please read this for us, Siskuli. Yes! Vani Tibos is trending. So! <laughs> <laughs> I knew only you could do that justice. So thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your posts. Keep them coming for uh, us to read to you here on television. <laughs> all right, Nina, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to catch your breath. Just breathe in, breathe out, Cooley, you and are let's do the thing. Something babes. else. You are too much, says Cooley. All right, a lot went down this weekend. And one thing many people were looking forward to was the Comrades Marathon 2018. On Sunday, over 20,000 runners from wow. around the world braved the freezing early morning temperatures of the Peter Maritzburg starting point to take on the excruciating 90.1, don't forget that point one kilometer ultra marathon race all the way to Moses Mabita Stadium in Durban. So the motto for this year's race was Asijiki, meaning there's no turning back. So the theme was befitting of a tremendous amount of commitment and effort which is put in to prepare for what's known as the ultimate human race. Now, imagine winning the race, not mm. just once, no. but three What? Wow. Yeah. This year's winner, Bongo Musa yes. Mtembu, oh. yeah, not you, not oh, you, okay. oh. I was about did to say. just that. All right, he won name? the race in 2014, then again in 2017, and now he's become the second South African to win the race back-to-back -back since the days of the legendary comrades champion, Bruce Fordyce. I saw and him at the wimpy ones. Did you? Mm. Was he running past? Mm -hmm. Was he getting it to go? It was a, a run through. Uh, was, he getting a, <laughs> was he getting runaways? Oh, yes. Just asking. Sure. Um, and if you missed this historic win, here's a clip of him reaching the finish line. you remember back-to-back -back victories for Bongusa Ntembu, his second down run victory, and it is a personal best for him. Five hours, 26 minutes, and about 35 seconds. And uh, we'll and get that official down. time for you. And he kneels down. He did it again. This is the moment I was waiting for. Very spiritual young man. This is what he does. Thanking the Almighty for seeing him. Mm -hmm. for carrying you. Guys, this is remarkable. Congratulations, Bongo Musa. We salute you. Another South African who made us... Are we saluting? We're saluting. Um, who made Somebody us get a shot of us saluting. Can we all get in the shot? Yeah, yeah. We're all saluting. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! All right, another African, Based South African, who made us extremely proud was Anne oh, Ashworth. Guys, listen to this. She was the female winner of this year's race and nice. completed her run in approximately six hours. Guys, I can't even drive to Durban in this time. Six hours, 10 minutes, and four seconds. Bravo, wow. Anne! That's remarkable. That's faster than a lot of men I know. All right. Another comrades runner who's definitely worth a mention is Polani Luvuno. Uh, take a look at this clip. So as you can see, Polani is an amputee, a recovering drug addict, wow. and cancer survivor. Sure. Mm. Fam, Fam, I mean, I mean. All right, he was given five extra hours, so he started at midnight mm. to compete the race, and um, he did it. Well done, Polani! And uh, listen, to every single one of you outstanding people who participated in the Comrades Marathon 2018, we are so inspired and proud of you. Really, that is amazing. Would you do it? Not in a trillion thousand Would years. Would you guys do it? <laughs> Not even if you paid me three million. Oh. Can I tell you what? I've said I want to do it so that I can run it with my dad because my dad runs Comrades. Oh, my God. So just as a... Did he run this year? No, he didn't. Not this year. But he ran the year before. He always runs. That would be such an amazing bonding thing. Yeah, but I'm too lazy to do that. Yeah, I also... I just... It seems like such a nice idea, but I think I'd get bored. Just do you know what I mean? Like what if I just listen, you could listen to like running. seven podcasts oh on the way? Oh my gosh. Um, yes. Don't worry, well, we, is yeah. going the bushes. So gross, that guy. Listen, oh. we're moving on to the next <laughs> hashtag that got everybody on social media buzzing. So, Scully? Yes, it was a weekend filled with wins for South Africans. Hashtag well, Captain Kolisi or hashtag King Kolisi were um, the biggest weekend hashtags trending on my feeds as the new South African rugby team captain, Sia Kolisi, led the box to a 42 33 
42-32 win against England. And mind you, it wasn't an easy win because the team were 21 points down at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Coach Rasi Rasmus credited the win to the captain, Sia Kolisa's wise decision to change tactics during the game. I may not be a sports fanatic, but I did share in the excitement of this amazing, amazing game and, of course, this amazing tweet. Oh, Vanessa Peruma, this is what she said. Hi, Vanessa. What was this? What hashtag Sia Kolisi? Wonder if you know what you are, what you've done for sports like rugby, a game I never thought I would watch what for one minute, of or let alone a couple of tens of minutes. Hashtag Captain Kolisi, very very nice. And hashtag King Kolisi was showered with even more praise. Take a look. Oh, because I was only in monobold. Well done, hashtag box. Great display indeed to hashtag Captain Kolisi and the team. And that's how this is done. Big up, RSA versus England. Basically, you've worked hard. Um, well done. And then all turning page says, um, hashtag SA versus England. Well done, Sia. You proved those who said you are a quote, you are quota players wrong. What? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Among Guta says, Oh wow, what a time to be alive, man. See, I'm trying to call the things. Nice it done, footy. Why chile usilile ramoposa wati ita shall ilifikile. Well done. Uh, Cyril said it uh, that the time is here. Even our um prodigal daughter, Ula Duzu Naomi Campbell won't be so Okay, let me say nice things about her then. Even the gorgeous Naomi Campbell <laughs> shared the sweet Instagram <laughs> post on Sia. Oh wow. 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 Is that is that Instagram or WhatsApp? It's Where is this thing? It's WhatsApp. So who has Naomi Campbell on WhatsApp? This is really. Uh, I do. Oh. Yeah, we, 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 we all do. We exchange tips. On Charlie's wins. Angels. Mm. Get it? <laughs> well done, Sia, and well done to the team who railed behind the new captain and the start of a new era in South African rugby. Uh, I know it might be a bit late, but hey, uh, at least it's happening. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I sing this? Captain Spandy Sailor. <laughs> Captain. Yeah, yes, my Can we sing okay. it in English? No, that's the song. Uh, you are mine, Captain. <laughs> captain, oh. my Captain. It was a joke. My head is hurting from okay. going... Zhui, zhui, zhui. <laughs> okay, but I'm enjoying it, though. I am. I love Thank it you. so much. All right, Musa, what's on your timeline after this weekend? Sure, a lot of things. Uh, but you know I'm one of those guys that love fun trivia, right? Useless oh, yes. information that you'll never, ever use ever in your life. That's so you. But I like it. And really? um, this one's quite interesting because it's a little satisfying. And the reason why I say it's satisfying is because it's a fun fact. Now, did you know that... In America, they celebrate National Sex Day. Oh. What? Oh. what happens the sixth that day? month of the, or rather, it's the sixth month, and the ninth day in the sixth month is a day where couples celebrate National Sex Day by having sex. Oh. Okay. Now, the reason behind yes. this 6 9 situation is because it closely resembles a very popular uh, sex position that you guys might know. Right. Um, what is that? Explain it in called detail. The 69. Mm -hmm. so um, it's where, it's where one... allegedly during coitus or sexual intercourse, then... you take a pen and paper and you write 6 9. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's I what thought I thought. You played on the abacus and you were like, you just counted. Yeah, two, six, four, and six, six, eight, eight, eight plus, plus one. Yeah. So position. that's what happened. <laughs> and of course, only in America this can happen. Now, Let's not forget that Americans aren't the only unconventional group of people. Here in Mzansi, we have our own little group of crazy people that do a lot of crazy things and make us go, huh? And the hashtag that was, did you know in Mzansi will prove this exactly, popped up on my timeline this weekend. And people were airing all of our laundry for the cyber world to see what zero chill I might add. And this took to the socials. And of course, people started things off with that hashtag, did you know in Mzansi? And to start things off, Tulani Nkosi as well as Lloyd Buerta had this to say. Tweets that read, did you know in Mzanta some people are scared of a taxi front seat? Did you know that? Yeah, boy. Scared of a whole seat. Another one that came through was one from Lloyd Buerta that said, did you know in Mzanti, the mass has declared Sister Petina a national <laughs> anthem. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Now things quickly escalated and tweets weren't holding back with the national secrets that came with that. Let's take a look at some of those tweets. This one here that came through was from Malume Shepherd that said, Did you know in Mzante, Judge can idols rather can tell you that you can't sing? But six years later, you win awards left, right, and center. <laughs> Another one that came through was one from uh, Denotion that said, Did you know in Mzante, we proved that you can confuse HIV by using a condom first round and enter school second round. Ah. Okay, now let's just be clear. I've ah. never that done is that. not a thing. Please don't ever believe that. Please. Save yourself some energy. Another one from uh, Young or Icon Young and saying that, did you know in Mzansi, the bigger the ass, the zotwa the face. Woo! Oh. 
Actually, that's not necessarily a bad thing, if you know what I mean. All right, did you know in Mzansi, you can use stones to keep a man? And that was from Village Headman. And of course, another one that came through under this hashtag was Mfana Boy. That's it. Do you know in Mzansi, <laughs> we used to have Bafana Bafana. Oh, where are we now? And the last one came through from Tandu Guys. That says, did you know in Mzansi, some girls borrow clothes from their friends to go visit guys who borrow rooms from their friends. <laughs> That's a really great meme of you. Let's move on now to the next hashtag. It is a very important hashtag. It is I am Bonang. I'm sure you saw this. It all started when a tweet tagged Bonang in a tweet. And in this were the names of some guys that Bonang had reportedly dated. Now, we don't know what the real intention of the tweet was, but the tweet itself was subsequently deleted. What you just saw was um, the response to this, the initial tweet. Things are coming up at different places to what we had rehearsed. Uh, Bonang says, my vagina, my rules. Let's find another angle, baby. This is also so tired. Please make some effort. You can do it. Mm. I love it! Ooh. She's so cool. She's so calm. She's so collected. Bonang responded to that tweet with just elegance. She didn't clap back. She just stood up for herself because like many, many, many female celebrities and dare I say women in general constantly come under attack online for people commenting about their relationships or men they choose to spend their time with, right? So her response then sparked the hashtag I am Bonang where women shared their reasons why they're inspired by Bonang Mateba's strength, Bonang Mateba's agility, Bonang Mateba's wow. The first tweet came from at Wendy Machine 207 and it says, she always stays in her lane, minding her own business. Hashtag I am Bonang. Oh, oh, oh. Other tweets hopped onto this hashtag with reasons why they too are fierce like Bonang. This is from Portia says, uh, I choose my battles wisely. Not every action demands my reaction. I am Bonang. Mm. And Gachiso says, I'm fierce. I'm a force. I'm unshaken. I'm a queen in my own lane. I work hard for my dime. I am only powerful when I am power. Say it with me now. I, I am Bonang. Bonang. And this comes from Mbali saying, I will not attempt to belittle others to feel better about myself. I will celebrate others' success. I will focus on my own goals and dreams instead of feeling satisfaction when others are going through hard times. I am beautiful without pointing others' flaws. Say it with me again. I, I am Bonang. And the hashtag I am Bonang did not only inspire women. Let me tell you, there were men who were jumping on and sharing the sentiment. Like Lucille Rula, one, who tweeted this. I am a man, and I'm proud to say I am Bonang. She is the mentor I never met but inspire and admire. Through her journey of life, I learned to be fearless, determined, career-driven, and enjoy life with those I care for. I am Bonang. Mm. Nice. But also nice. that photograph is unbelievable. Oh, yes. Mm, wow. This one, though, is a bit strange. Regal oh, Global says, am I allowed as a guy to say hashtag I am Bonang? Of course. If yes, man. then one more time. I am Bonang. All right, so let's kickstart this Monday on a positive note. All right, do you want to play along? Let's go around the table mm -hmm. and um, share why we are Bonang. What is it about her, what she represents, the whole thing that makes you think I am Bonang? Means? Listen, I've, I've only been on this side of the industry for a little while. I mean, I know I did comedy for a thousand million years, but to do what Bonang does... The dresses, the posture, the, uh, the whole thing. I wish I was Bonang. You are Bonang. Guys? What I'm loving about this is that we've forgotten about the Slay Queens and all those Faith Gatesies, and it's all positivity, and it's building I love women. It. So brilliant, Bonang. And also, you've got to come to the show. Please come to our show, Bonang. Um, Dr. Musa? I am Bonang because work, 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 work all the time. Mm. Yeah. That's it, really. Mm. No, I love that. And I love... Being somebody who's been in this entertainment industry for 
the, 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 the kind of spans of generations, mm -hmm. right? So I've seen things that happened in my mom's generation and how the industry has changed. And I can mark the point where Bonang started making an impact in the way that I now can invoice differently, for example. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because she has changed the game. So kudos to you, girl. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Mm. Make that guap, mm. travel, passport gang. We know all of the things, but please just make a short left here to us. And we visit. all watch your show. Please, Of thanks. course we do. We love mm. your show. Mm. And crazy. we buy the magazines. Yes. And, we and you, the you, wear the, you wear the, the I, underwear. Oh, if I could show you. I, um, but, but I can't show you because <laughs> I, 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 I Okay, don't let us get distracted. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. I see the devil tap so it's get the picture, these niggas will never be. Why you answer so? Hey, Bona. Why you answer? I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm For the chest pains, there's penalty. Take team, young and bed, and the river cake. Cody one good thing, fell in the river set. Cody lost, still skimming in my hip. Still twats, I'm running when you see. I see the double tap, so it's get the picture, these niggas will never be. Why you answer so? Hey, but now. 